All right, welcome back. Trav uh, was correct in his prediction. A short pause before we get into the action here. Nine Pandas starting off on that CT side. It does seem like uh, we're not quite fully live yet, but hopefully not held up much longer here, fella. Yeah, hopefully it won't be too long. We've already got our stuff bought up, haven't we? So we've got the, uh, the smoke and the molly on Notinki, and we've got uh, the dualies, of course, on Idis Balance. Looking to start off well in this one. Sees is the one with utility. No kit though, at least yet. They're going to be they're going to be repurchasing now, of course, as that quick game reset comes through. I always want to see a kit on a CT pistol. I feel like it's it's something that um, you know, maybe you commit to the utility instead of the kit. But I think every CT pistol, I wish I see a uh, I wish I see a diffuse kit, but maybe not on this one. Yeah, no, that's very true, actually. Diffuse kits are usually quite common. But, uh, not today. You know, looking to take the fights, I suppose. And, well, yeah, they're set up for it. Three over on B, boosted up, gathering the info here, glowing. Good frag from him and able to get away. That's worked perfectly, hasn't it? Flash as well to slow them down on the re-up. Glowing sticking around on the edge of this smoke here. I just balance up top on the site box. Not going to be expected. Bomb dropped. Very clean indeed. I just balance in for another. Not quite the third, but surely enough done. And, well, a decisive pistol from Nine Pandas. See? You don't even need a defuse kit if you just kill everyone. That is, uh, that is the strategy, that's, I suppose. That's seized ball. That's seized, <laughs> seized ball right ball. there. Absolutely. There we go. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Uh, I've been waiting to have, a, have someone throw that in. Yeah. <laughs> Glaive ball I mean, is looking pretty hot yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know though, man. Like seized, honestly. I think because uh, you're you're probably familiar. I talk about this sometimes. It's always like one of those cool little facts to keep in your back pocket or whatever to impress some of the the new guys who've only been watching CS since, since like 2020 yeah. or whatever. Um, like when he was IGL for Gambit, which everyone was like, "What's going on here?" You know, seized playing for Gambit and IGL, and he brought back like the Russian AK thing. You know, the Hero AK. Yeah. Um, like from 1.6 it had not really been done and now now it's stuck around you know loads of teams love doing it but he was doing it all the time getting people to like drop him stuff across yeah and i just feel playing so confidently and aggressively you know no respect for your opponents is just what seized is all about honestly seized ball described in one fell swoop there by mr harvey beautiful stuff but yeah he's uh it's funny, isn't it? I mean, he was committed to this. He said in his interview, I think, after he qualified, that I hadn't felt this good on a team with anyone else. I hadn't felt any other team had this potential to make a major again until Nine Pandas happened. It is, a, as you say, a bit of a funny mix of players. But when you gel, I gel, believe in him. So it's very interesting to see how it's all turned out for them. It's only been good. Their lives have been changed with making the first CS2 major, of course. First gun round, though, coming in, of course, for Spirit Academy. Dilla Des and Idis Balance, though, dealing with mid beautifully. Every angle is going in their favour right now. Nottineki will manage to get one back on Glowing, but it's a two versus four, and they're going to be stuck trying to exit. A nice peek from above from Seas, and Idis Balance is having a little bit of a struggle there, but he finds his kill, and... Nottenecki is now stuck in the open and now his position has been spotted too. Short player takes him in Dilladez. And the clean sheet remains intact for Nine Pandas. Alright, let's see Spirit Academy. Going to try and put a bit of something up in this. Funnily enough, it would be an AK that's been dropped across. So Magno Jez, he knows his history potentially. Or, you know, maybe doesn't even realise it. But all the same, he will go for this AK. Based a little bit off the spawn. Going for an early peek there in towards ramp. No one matching on nine pandas. But I'm definitely curious. Trying to fight fire with fire on the academy side of things. A straight dry 
a push though contacting in trying to catch that player jumping up he could well have found the kill if he kept on pushing in but they are playing it slow big damage to start us off something to work with perhaps okay we'll try again just solo contact out ramp. The flash though is nicely timed. And I just balance is definitely ready for this. Is about going to be checked. The answer is no. And that AK is gone. As is Deagle. Wants to try and find one. And he hits two body shots. But that's not enough with a Deagle these days. Alpha will take the Ledez nicely. But 4v3 for 9 pandas. Despite the health, this should be okay. You would indeed think so. There we go. A little bit of a find for the Deagle, so. Clax just hidden away at triple. Does it have to be careful? Well, he's got himself covered. Patient pays off to drop that bomb and pretty much oh, seal the deal. He's nearly finished off, but not quite. Going through the motions here at the moment. Nine Pandas starting off pretty well, pretty cleanly. Uh, no real sweat off their brow just yet. Spirit Academy map pick. Need to show us something. Some news from around the grounds as well. In the uh, in the lower bracket, Havu are playing Lotus to stay alive. I believe Lotus have forfeit that game. Uh, notice from uh, production and our admins. So Havu will stay alive without having to do anything, which is nice for them. A little bit of a relaxing evening for the Finns. But every other game will be live right now. Ooh, Alpha's not alive anymore. Glowing through the edge of the smoke. These picks are going really nicely for Nine Pandas across the map so far, especially in mid early game. And I just balanced already on 11 kills. Watanaki looking to join up with the rest of the team here. See what the wave is. Nothing really presenting to, uh, you know, pick up that cheeky kill that they'll be after to find a way back into the round. Not really looking too likely. They're ready for a B hit here as well. I just balanced the first line, but rotations should be able to move in pretty quickly. Seized holding. Oh, Going to oh. lose his head. That's fair play from Baz. Traded a lot of information, though. You know, when you are two men up, ooh, it's definitely workable, but suddenly the numbers are thinning for the CT side. I just balance. They know all about him, and he will get taken down. Molotov makes his life very difficult. This is getting interesting. Oh. No to Neki with two big heads, and they've wrestled back a 5v3. Certainly not over just yet, but it looks better than it once did. Clax in a clutch. Got a kit. Can afford to take his time. Will they be expecting a big flank so long? I think they're going to be safe with it now because Keegan is keeping an eye on it. But he's just quick switch at the wrong time. And this nade could be pretty tasty. Oh my goodness. Keegan says alive on 14 HP. He's actually trying to smoke himself off so he can jump his way through. But I think he's managed to find his way out. He's stuck in his own smoke right now. And I think the save will be called. That's unfortunate. But good for Spirit Academy. They should be able to be far enough away from the bomb blast as well. So three players will remain up. Only just. They do take some extra bomb damage. But a great first round for Spirit Academy. And Notineki stepping up with a couple of big headshots there. Yeah, really big round. Timeout coming in from them as well. So they're looking to uh, kind of capitalize. And maybe indeed track where the economy's at. Because it's a bit all over the place from uh, Nine Pandas. Hard to predict. All the same. Really, really solid stuff there from... The youngsters showing that they can indeed get it done and playing confidently despite the fact that they were down and the rounds are tough, important, all that kind of stuff. They really did play well. Speeding back into things here. And a timeout. Doesn't take too much of our time. No stacks, no uh, tech pauses, thank goodness. But 
yeah. see what the game plan change is going to be here from Spirit Academy. Looks to be a fairly conventional A execute. Just try and make that work. Sometimes going back to the basics works out well. Right, they're going to try and entry their way into the site. First point of call is Clax, and he answers well. So that smoke blooms towards CT as well. But Spirit Academy need to make sure they use these smokes while they're still up and cross over to the site and get the bomb down while they have that protection. There will be a, a re-smoke for top con and Dillardes, even though he's smoked off and blind, somehow connects enough bullets on Baz. That's unfortunate for Baz. Frustrating for him. Notaneki, though, should do some good work here. Not expecting it, Dillardes. There's been another player close, but Keegan caught in the open. Glowing takes that one. 4v2. A tough hold coming in here for the young lads. Yeah, not going to be easy, but indeed they do have the bomb in their favour. The one thing that uh, could be a bit funky... Oh, okay, I don't even get words out. I was going to say two towards the bomb. Might not be expected. Blowing with a lucky dink there. Where did that flash come from, though, fellas? If they are super astute, they might have figured it out. Unfortunately, smoke in the way. Ooh, it's oh. going to make life difficult. He nearly got that player off. Would have made it a bit spicy, but not going to happen. Four surviving for Nine Pandas. Great response. Yeah. Magna yeah, is unfortunately yet to get off the mark as well. Tough start to the game from him after we called him out, of course, as uh, one of the more experienced players on this team. Having a couple of years, at least a little bit of a tenure in K23 in the past. And yeah, it's so hard for Alpha there as well when you're spraying through a smoke to try and deny the defuse. You sometimes just have no idea how much you need to pull down because you can't actually see anything on the other side of the smoke and as you saw there you just didn't pull down enough and the spray control wasn't accurate enough to hit one more bullet but he got taken down anyway so wouldn't have made a huge difference to the round even if he managed to take clacks i believe but the defuse either way glowing aggressive towards short looking for an opening and there's the opening for Magnez, it's a, a nice kill to start off, and he can back away after recovering it into a 4v4. A minute left on the clock, Spirit Academy once again without ideas, as they were a couple rounds ago, so they have slowed it down, move towards B. Definitely could make this one work. Oh, I like it. I like it. You see a lot in the pistols. But in the rifle rounds, not quite as popular. And uh, it's a hard angle to check and clear and whatnot. So it does mm -hmm. make a bit of sense. I'm definitely a fan. 35 seconds. Slow wind up here. In comes the noise. As Seized is a little out in the open on the AWP here. Can definitely tell that it's not his uh, conventional weapon. Only one for Dillardes. By virtue of not really having a teammate to work off of there. So three versus two, they might even give this. Yeah, we, we spoke about Seize Ball earlier. Um, Seize Ball is very smart, but occasionally his own positioning can be a bit off. Mm. And definitely he was there, caught in the open. But this 2v2 is definitely on. Unfortunately, of course, there is an AWP posted. Oh, he just gets off the angle. But thankfully, Nottineki does enough and will tap Idis Balance out of the round. Only 14 pim Idis Balance so far. Haha, ha. Klaxo has a chance in this one. Head spotted. Takes one. But the time is now way too low. And Magnez knows he just needs to waste the clock. Clock out is all he needs. He'd won the round. And he went on low HP. He sorts it out because Klax was even lower. Spirit get their second on the board. Indeed, and another timeout being used. Okay, they are really... Uh... Gagging for these T rounds, I think. Very interesting. All the same. It's worked out for them thus far, I think. You know, the uh, the timeout's keeping them in a good headspace. This one's pretty important, though. Again, utility is not going to be the best for some of these players. They can get the rifles out, but the fully fledged buy. Not perfect, but it's the same on the other side of the equation as well. So... A difficult round uh, weaponry-wise and equipment-wise. Spirit Academy, of course, looking to close this gap.
Yeah, it was a bit of a, a slow start, a bit of a quiet start, but they've built into the game. They have even more of a chance to build into the game if they're able to take this round as well. But it's a change up from Nine Pandas. Look at this aggression through underpass. And Clax desperately trying to tap away with the last few bullets of the clip and the MP9. Can't get any more done than just one kill. But it's okay because Dillodez's timing on peeking from Con with the help of that smoke is nicely sorted out. So 3v3. Glowing can't recover any sort of primary yet. So he might have to stick with the 5-7. But with high disbalance and dinner does, they certainly have enough. And with the angle that Glowing will be playing with that 5-7 near Van, if he's not mollied out, he could have a chance to do more work. That's bold for Notaneki to throw his drill away. What, and then go into the open. And talking about being in the open, that's some information play. Forget what I was going to say. Wow, Dillardez just steps up and says, I'm going to look for where you are rather than let you come to me. Takes two and underpass. Now Notaneki needs to clutch. He might be able to do so. I mean, they're very, very split. Uh, it is a 5-7 to get through on B and AWP to get through on A, but he seems very, very savvy as to the positions. Oh, or does he? He might. Oh, my God. Never mind. I just balance is not even going to, you know, give him the fight. The... Potential of it. Ooh, he's getting away. Barrel going to be spotted. Notaneki knows that he's around here. Flashing in onto the site. Molotov as well to play with. But Ida's <laughs> Balance takes the fight. Nice and confident. Why wouldn't you be with 14 kills already? <laughs> Spot on. 173 ADR still by round 9. Beautiful stuff from Ida's Balance. Of course, if he went down and it left his teammate to clutch, it would have been... Very, very doable for Notaneki, but not on this occasion. I thought for a second Idis Balance was also going to stay on that front top connector angle. And obviously with Barrel showing, you can get pre-fired and pre-aimed and he would just go down for free. But he just pulls away at the right time, right? It's, uh, it's those things that can just go either way. And this time it went in Nine Panda's favour. Dillardez holding on top of the smoke here. Probably going to have a fair amount of action come his way with uh, positioning of these players. Oh, spamming away. Just in between the two of them. If he'd been a second earlier, a second later, he might have come away with some damage. Magno Jez up the window. Semi-expected, but I don't think necessarily that deep or with an AK. Dillardez clears it, but, you know, maybe kind of half looking at his minimap or talking, not fully zoned in. And that could be problematic. They've moved up to get this FAMAS now as well. Seized. Gets himself his third kill of the game. Glowing will remove Baz. In comes a swing towards short, but Glowing will make sure that he has enough bullets left to deal with that one. And then fall away. Not to know he does well to get one more with just the default Glock, but no worries. Nine Pandas... I'll survive it with three alive. And Spirit Academy will have to re-buy in. You'd feel like for an Academy team up against one of the big boys who will be at a, an upcoming major. The upcoming major. First CS2 major. They desperately need these last three of the half to have a chance when they switch sides. Okay. Big round here for Spirit Academy as they aim to keep it competitive. Couple of rounds for them, but it's obviously not enough. And again, it is their pick. You'd expect a bit better from them. Yes, T sides can be difficult, but you know, we're hoping to see a bit more. There's still room for a bit more. Going with the flash. Don't peek Oops. off the back of it, Dilides. Yep, with a dodgy Molotov. We'll uh just have to back away. Slightly embarrassed. Not massively. Only a little bit. We didn't see could've, it. it could have been intentional, you know. Yeah. The 2,246 plus us two didn't see that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Utility swapped over to Keegan. Seized on the balcony with glowing in support. 
And sees is actually choosing to push a little bit further forward, but I think once he sees the smoke's coming over, he'll resmoke it himself. And the timing on that smoke is actually very, very nice. If they come through that, they could be in for a whirl of hurt. They still have two in mid. You think they're planning for a B split, the two coming up short as well. Sees will show his presence. I don't know where to put himself. You think he'd just try and stand tall. He does. Goes for a swing, removes Baz nicely. Glowing was there, there to help, like I mentioned. And that long range spray from Alpha will be too hard to hit. 15 seconds, Magnez and Keegan. Need some exit frags here. And Magnez will go down and connect her. So if Keegan can save the AWP, it'll be the best option for him. Counter terrorists win. Looks like. Oh! Hello? Um. Sir? Why have you done that? Why has he done that? Why has he done that then? I was literally just about to say he should be fine to save, you know. Oh and, my goodness. And look at that little number next to his name. Not the kills. Um, there's more. There's a more important number. He's got 100 Oh dollars. man. Because he died after Sp time. Listen man, it's really, really difficult for me not to get tilted at something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he listen, makes, listen, making listen, his no. job hard this afternoon. I already they're, just they're had a long series. They're an academy team. Live and learn. You know. Okay. We, we do bad. the classic caster thing of being a little bit nice. You know. Sure. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's been too long, man. It's been too long. <laughs> See a guy do that. Honestly. Okay. Uh, Magno Jez has uh, opened us up into this round. Seized, however, with a trade back onto Baz and some decent information as he gets in a bit deep there. Yeah. So, Nine Panda should be able to recover. Cast the terminology of that was interesting or that was mm. bold. Mm. I think mm. you know, I think you guys at home know what that means by this point. Seized will respoke the apartments. Once again, he's, he's playing it almost like he's spooked every time a player comes onto his screen, but he's managing to stay alive. Quite a dangerous way of doing it, of course. Being happy to spray those smokes, but he's being rewarded for it at the moment. Alpha will go down. Clax will take another. It's just two pistols left to find. Seas will do a little bit more damage, but it's glowing to take the last two. That is 9-2. And a chance for a very dominant half here. out there for Dillardes. Not an he wasn't expecting two to push him in Palace like that. But look where Magnez is. He's already up short. Got Alpha to, to hold the possibility of a flank. So B site's been taken, weirdly, but they have to be aware for the possibility of apartments and that's where Idis Balance is waiting. A lot of damage taken. But they had no idea about Magna Yez. And he managed to take both from bench. Keegan and Alpha left 2v3 off the back of that. Alpha didn't know he was ladder him either. And he gets two. And now C still on the site. Gets caught off by Keegan. And somehow, Spirit of Academy have been able to grab a third round at the end of that half. We'll see if they can make it a little bit more competitive after this quick break.
Welcome back, one and all. We are indeed back into the action here. So 9-3 at the turn of the half. Um, yeah, nine pandas. I mean, looking very, very solid, I think, throughout is the story of the day. I just balance and glowing. There you go. Proving that age is indeed not a factor. Yeah, I mean, talking of that, right? I mean, there's been... It's weirdly... Everyone thought when CS2 came out that oh, all the Zoomers will be amazing and sure, they are. Look at a certain kid by the name that begins with D. But a lot of the older players have had resurgences, right? You look at Seize, you look at Glaive, you look at even JT on Complexity for a little while as well. I think he, he's been fragging pretty decently. Like a lot of these older players, and of course Glowing 30, dropping that 85 kill BO3 to beat Game of Legion to make the Copenhagen Major. Just shows that it really doesn't matter if you still got it in the locker somewhere. But Manu Ye has not got anything in the locker anymore because Dilades has already removed him on this A execute. Not Neki trying to spam those smokes. Maybe expecting them to already be planting toward default. But this advanced position they have now, of course, toward jungle with that Molotov up makes it so difficult for Spirit Academy to recover this. Yeah, position of one known. However, Keegan, he will bait out his teammate pretty successfully there. They should be able to confirm there's quite a few bodies coming in from jungle. However, clean headshot from glowing allows them to get a little bit of a reset. And look at him go, continuing the heads. Of course. Three piece for glowing seals the deal. Nine pandas win the pistol, hit double digits, and uh, look set to steal this one. Yeah, glowing, of course. He had uh, a little period in that Trident team that I mentioned in 2021, and then more known for his stint in one win. Nearly two years, of course, he spent in one win. Nine Pandas put this new composition together. Glowing was added. Having that experience alongside Seized. And of course, Itis Balance isn't necessarily inexperienced either. Maybe the, the youngster who was, I guess, more unknown to many would have been Dilides. But it's been working really well. And now this full eco, but for one deagle on Spirit Academy, is going to try and make a push toward ramp. Clax has got an MP5, not one you see too often. Sort of a 10-3 purchase. Well, yeah, very true. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gun that... Uh, Jocko, right? Jocko's a big fan. I don't know if he's still uh, whacking it's it true, out. actually. Yeah. But not a guy I've casted for a while, to be honest. But, you know, there was, no. there was a good run no. there that... Uh, you know, the double pony days and X double pony and heat and all that good stuff. He was uh, really yeah. fond of it and actually nailed some pretty insane clips. AK here for Spirit Academy. So I'll probably save that and then just send the USPs in to try yeah. and take another name. However, Clax, here he comes. Cue the Jaws theme and he will indeed eliminate one and the second. It's actually very good against unarmored opponents. Um, yeah. It's just really not that great against armored opponents. So <laughs> it's just why? You know. It's just you know why would you buy that when the MP9 is so ridiculous? You know, that's, yeah, that's the only yeah. reason. Like if the MP9 gets nerfed, I could see it being used more for sure. Yeah, no, you are right though. But um, yeah, I mean, it is still a very satisfying gun to use and tap away with. It's got a nice little soundtrack to it, but uh, it is not the meta at the moment. It will be dropped. Seas will keep the Mac 10. And Nine Pandas are a couple away from taking the opening map. I actually expected a little bit more from the Spirit Academy here. I thought that with the fact they'd been warmed up after winning the opening BO3, although it was a really long one, so they could be a bit could be a bit tired. I thought they may be feeling pretty hot and ready to go, but Nine Pandas have cancelled out that form and glowing will catch Alpha as he jumps on the bench in mid. Now the B-site play will come in and Baz is under pressure. Only two kills in this game. Manier only gets one and Baz can't fall back. Dilidez catches him. And that's kind of the epitome of this game so far. Just a little bit too much for Spirit Academy to handle. Glowing with a nice find on the way out here. Trying to deny these saves away. Might just be able to find Keegan, although he is left a little low. Yeah, I'm going to lose his head, but Keegan, surely dead to right. They're swarming. The Piranhas take him out. 12-3. to three. And that, for me, probably seals it. Nine rounds in a row here for Spirit Academy, and it starts off with a really poor buy. Yeah. 
Indeed, three FAMASes and two MP9s. What on earth can they do with this? A little bit of uh, pride, I guess, at stake at this point, just to get a couple more rounds on the board. I'm sure that's not something they think of, but still, it would be nice to make the score a little bit more respectable. Alpha pushing up in the smoke, this is a nice way of doing it. You can get up that ledge once you reach that point where the smoke is silently. Staying super aggressive, and of course, obviously, he hears everyone running about and throwing utility. And that's why he's gonna try and creep through. Glowing! Oh, this is gonna be awkward now. He hasn't managed to finish his dinner, and now another player will come and help out. And there you go. Looking very good. Kicking the round off cleanly. 12 to 3, as said. So, you know, I think they are riding on a high right now and definitely playing like it. Plax, ooh, not able to catch the aggression from No Taneki. Decent amount of damage onto him. Rest of the board, though, for Nine Pandas looks pretty unhealthy. So, I am curious here. Yeah, and I think they're, like, wanting to move in a bit fast and play aggressive, but the HP really is not allowing them. Yeah, now this reposition toward T-Spawn, looking to try and close the game out. Gonna be a late window smoke there as well. Thrown in with 35 seconds to go. That might confuse Spirit Academy slightly. Expecting there to be more pressure amid somehow or some form of split. And I guess that split does come through seized. But three ramp for 20 seconds. How is Notaneki going to predict this one? He is the main A site defender. If he can get two, there's a glimmer of hope. I disbalance walking forward though and catches him looking the wrong way. That should be that. It's Keegan and Baz to try and make the impossible happen. Glowing may be 1 HP, but he doesn't need to be the one who faces. In comes this flash. Should be deep enough to blind these players pushing up. But even with that, I just balance still gets 1. So it is down to Baz on 4 HP. AK can be recovered. But Glowing is the default player. I mentioned who was 1 from earlier on. But look where Seized is. Very comfortable angle for him to peek off of Glowing's contact at any point. It is actually Glowing to take that kill in the end anyway. Glowing ends the game with 20 kills. And it was him and Idis Balance who was really, really impressive in that opening map for Nine Pandas. Yeah, man. Clinical, my dog. Absolutely clinical there from Nine Pandas. Really, really my clean dog. stuff. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it recently. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, either way... Uh...